Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day. I got the man, the myth, my new horror aficionado friend, Mr. Beardy Bog. How are we doing today, Hello. sir? Uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Was you know very, very happy to share this you know spicy list with uh, with a fellow Gwent enthusiast. Yeah, you got you got a couple more days to climb. So if you want some uh, some elves in your life, uh, you could definitely smoke some fools if they don't you know <laughs> yeah, take yeah, it seriously exactly. like it, it really is like a double-edged sword man like if you bleed them this list you might lose your card but if you don't bleed them they're gonna score 90 points on you <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so yes. it's like yes. with, with those shenanigans like uh like talismans right so yeah it's just like uh pure pure elves valley yeah yeah um you know going through the cards a little bit uh you know it is a feign death list so if you feels like you're going up against a you know non-devotion friend with uh you know heat wave i mean it is what it is i mean heat wave is not terrible it's still like uh trades down um massively especially if you if you get um um ida and then you can boost up um the commando whatever it's called and then it just doesn't die yeah. which is uh, pretty important as well great oak the the yeah. dude's been missing in action um and it's, yeah, uh, the it... Great Oak I think is still a very decent card, um, especially because we, this uh, this list uh, lacks um, removal, so you kind of need some you know heavy removal like you know seven or six. So I think I think the card is uh, nice and obviously can still act as a finisher, right? So pretty solid. Yeah, I think it's one of the probably one of the most perfect Gwent cards, like because it, it, it yeah, lets you just space fun. it out to where you get X amount of damage and then you also get the boost yeah. out of it. It's, it's just perfect uh, balance card, I think, especially now um, in the current state um, meta, right? And, you know, before it was, what, like 12 provisions, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, yeah, it was 12. So, yeah, I um, think it's pretty good. Yeah, and then you got the Vernacial, um, you know, you do have leader charges and, it's you know... It's probably best card in the deck, right? When yeah. you look at it. Yeah, if she can, uh, if if she can get the army out and you play her melee, man, you're gonna watch some shit yeah, fly yeah. real quick. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly, and it's still like proactive, you know, eleven points or whatever. So it's just a very strong card. Yeah. You know, um, um, usually I would say um, if somebody um, bleeds you um, round two, you shouldn't be uh, afraid to use feign death and then follow it up by some weak elves, and then save an osseal for round three, followed up with your leader charges. Like your eyes room still gets like pretty pretty nice value, right? So that's like how I usually try to play the deck. Yeah, Elias is just a nice way to uh, clean up like a one or a two. Maybe they you think they're gonna go for uh, Blood Eagle or something like that. You know, you can get exactly. that off the board, and make it a little so, bit tougher on them. Regarding Elias, I was actually running a, a card called uh, Dolbatana Bomber because of Elias, and. Um, it just felt kind of uh, lacking. It's a one point elf, right? And you can also play uh, uh, Skirmisher, Bovern Skirmisher, because it's also at one point. So those are like kind of like consideration to make your Elias better. But at the same time, like we're not playing Elias just, you know, to um, uh, get, you know, full, full value or whatever. We are, we're already like swarming like a lot. It's just like um, elf, which doesn't suck to proc your thing that with, if you get what I mean. Right. So you kind of want to proc. Um, you will find that uh, at least like round three with the uh, elf other than um, officer, right? right? So like there, there aren't many good elves. You can play Turuvial, I suppose. Turuvial is a good elf, but that's about it. Yeah. There, there aren't many good good elves. Yeah, Isengrim. If you already played Dunka, she's a or it's a guaranteed poison because he's the only other. Yeah, it's, you need to have some kind of consistency, I think, especially if you play a poison package, since uh, it can just be dead one round, right? Yeah. Um, you don't have uh, supplementary complementary poison yeah. so i think it's just like okay and it can also pull you the missing elf as well you just like you know high roll uh verno yavin or isengrim easy yeah um you got to be careful with the alarin and uh, possible bricks with the volunteers um we mentioned the poison package the marauders and uh, volunteers um uh, possible you can, you can, you can... council yeah, you could you could change dwarves, right? You could play um, miners, for instance, or like skirmishers. But I think um, I value more um, like proactivity. Sometimes like you don't really have a nice proactive play. And obviously, if you have, um, for instance, like one world in hand, you can also play justice for another one, and then it's eight for four, right? Which is 
still uh, pretty good, even for today's uh, Gwent standards, right? Yeah, and even still, you know, thinning is still winning in Gwent, man. If you can, exactly. if you can get, you know, your bad cards out of your bronze cards, you're gonna draw your gold. So, I always like cards yeah. like this in the deck because it just helps you draw. Hopefully, your golds. I don't know. One game we couldn't draw any golds. <laughs> yeah, but, it happens. It happens, yeah. right? But. And, uh, and also, I would say, like, you kind of want to play um, your Dwarves uh, round one. Um, because, like, round three, uh, it blocks your Feign Death. Unless you have an Ossial, right? It's, which is kind of a big deal. So, take take note of that, guys. Like, uh, Dwarves round three is kind of bad. Yeah. Same with Dryas. And, uh, you know, last but not least, the Vryhead Officer. First time I procced the Bronded Synergy with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, I was, I, I, didn't know what to do. I hit the guy, and it was like, what's going on with this card? But yeah, I mean, getting, uh, getting it, it, seven like out a, of it's nice, man. It's real nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it just, it's just like a decent card, I think. Uh, if you have two, obviously. So yeah, it's just like a better Bowman, in my opinion, because um, like very few players will just like you know slam lava uh, back row uh, to feed Bowman. Like it just doesn't happen. Right. So. Yeah, so in that, when you put it that way, I think Office is just better. Plus, like, uh, Boost sometimes is better as well. Yeah, so you could save something from dying or whatever, engine. Um, yeah, uh, exactly. It's just pretty good. Uh, awesome list, Beardy. Uh, we appreciate you, sir. Uh, we'll men we mentioned it at the, the end of the video, but hopefully we get you to get a couple streams going here at yes, twitch.tv uh, slash beardybog I, I promise i promise one day one day it will come probably this year right so um i was thinking this weekend but um i just like um didn't sleep so i couldn't do it yeah, yeah. You, you and you and bantonio are uh yeah comedy that's uh, finest dude you guys i, I mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah i enjoy I should it talk him uh, a couple of days ago so yeah it's coming it's coming it's coming guys that's awesome man that's early christmas present for you guys but um once again beardy thanks for recording sir we appreciate it um here's a couple games uh lots of uh you know overview too after the game too so if you uh you want to just eye eyeball the plays or whatever or go what we were thinking of you know at, towards the end of each game we go through a little bit of a walkthrough as well so um just you know something different so i think it's good to explain it a lot so here's a couple games check out teamvivingaming.com we'll see you at the end bye bye to the brick with this deck so i, I failed to mention that Ooh, a rain friend okay so this should actually be a good matchup they don't have grammist usually and they just ta oh shit, they have that okay and we have every bronze card in the deck yeah. <laughs> uh, uh all right so we drop the volunteer um yeah we can kind of play dwarf and tin it from the hand it's not like a game losing i would actually mulligan officer here Oof. because we don't have other pair okay that's really bad okay uh, the hand is terrible but good thing we own uh red coin so it's all good It's very annoying he's playing Crystal Skull, like, I was so happy to, you know, uh, poison the ship. What the fuck is this play? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, that's... Uh, that's we actually really can't long. kill it, that sucks. So we just drop yeah. the Marauder? Yeah, and hope he doesn't kill it. He, he never kills it, right? So, yeah. How? Why would you kill the Marauder? Yeah. Front row? Uh, yeah, yeah. Stunning blow uh, doesn't exist anymore, Got right? Hankering for Gwent. <laughs> Why didn't you drop that first? Like, how <laughs> the... Out of the ground. <laughs> Step that up. Uh, okay. That's also a blast from the past. Like, I haven't seen this card ever yeah. since. Uh, it was... So we just do okay, our we thinning? Tend the, we, we just send the boy boy cannon. We just don't take any chances because the, the hand is already very, very dodgy. Hi -ho, hi -ho. We're keeping up, though, with bronzes, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next. Like, it's still eight. <laughs> we should probably poison the abomination, I think, but we'd probably drop next the uh, three-point dude. Uh, well, the secret thing is so off. God save us. This uh, guy, but I guess he doesn't really care. 
Okay, so... You could also potentially play the... Bowman? Uh, two point guy, because... Uh, no, we always play Bowman, yeah, but I'm just like saying... Um, um, because we saw that we uh, overswarm, right? And it's kind of... I, I usually want to play it in uh, round one, right? But at the same time, the hand is like really bad. So I would probably go for Bowman first. And then maybe like poison the six, something along those lines. Hit the... well we can't... oh yeah, the other six. Um, so we, eight, we... yeah, hit the eight. Hit the eight, yeah. And we re re really want him to uh, bleed us, I think. Okay, we can also try to save the poison package for Greatsword. Okay, that's perfect. So now we go for it with the whisper. Yep. The wood shall turn against you. Kind of funny, the hand is so bad, and we are still like. Uh... And he's playing slow, though. You know, he is kind of slow. I mean, he, he, played, he played two engines, actually three, right? So I think like uh, so this deck doesn't uh, play rebukes our deck, so we can't answer ship. He, sh he should have okay, 25, uh, right? Because he played these in yeah. reverse order. So. Yep. Exactly. Stunning blow on the four. He actually had it. He actually had it. He actually had it. But he just didn't respect the dwarf, man. So now we just ranger. Yep. And then we probably play the uh, old critters, I think. And we can play Elias. Your next move shall stuff. be your last. Oh, one point. We never use leader though, right? I don't know. The hand is, uh, we just want to get more garbage cards out. Obviously, old critter is not really a garbage card. Uh, why? Okay. <laughs> why? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> but, but why? Like, it still goes outside of uh, rebuke range. It, it literally makes no sense. Uh, so we probably just have to pass because he's gaining two per turn. So, yeah. We got some good stuff out of them in a leader charge. Like, they don't have that yeah, yeah. third one anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, basically, he doesn't have leader anymore, right? So, yeah. Pretty good. So now I just get some good cards, like Feign Dead. Or... Almost as good as Feign Dead. Um, okay. Um, I think we mulligan... The poison. Huh? All critter. No, I think we would mulligan all critter. We still have... Uh, Two poisons. Yep. Uh, 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 is he gonna bleed us? Uh, I guess officer, yeah. Don't break, don't break. Uh. Oh my god, that's so bad. There's the so many gold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, garbage. Okay, we just play officer. Yeah. I mean,. This is looking pretty dodgy. Like this guy needs to be punished, and I, I hope hope we punish him. We even tend the the card one one. It's kind of funny. No. Okay, that's decent. Uh, it's kind of okay. So I'm mulling the dwarf since it's a brick. No. Shit. Oh my god, that's terrible. We missed oak. Feign death. And, uh, oh, that's, okay, okay, okay. I mean, it's just like hard mode, right? Right. Uh, so do we have any Dryad apart from, um, do we have, um, we just have, um... Uh, Dunka. Yeah. Yeah, so if you play that, he needs to play, um, Hjalma on it, so we just go for it. So we go Council and the Dunka. Yep. No mercy! Sad list, like two very big cards. Yeah, one or the other, like Oak or yeah, Thing yeah, would have exactly. been pretty because good. We know he, he can't answer. Uh, it's always devotion, right? So he can't answer it. So, yeah. Raider, front row, very corpses. back row. Do we kill that? Do we just take the Dunka and kill it now? I mean, it's um, not a bad idea, yeah. I like it. I like it quite a bit, yeah. So smack him. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he just dies. To a five point guy. 
Right. And it... Oh, shit. I mean, we can kill that with the uh, Haven. So we're going back row with our stuff. Yep. Yeah, so Gavin deals one damage. We need to go five. We have uh, one elf, so we need three elves, right? Yes. So yeah, I think, I think we go for it. We just leader charge everything. Yeah, it's it's a big engine. If I'm to die, I'll do so sword in hand. I fail my heroic death. Get uh, Erwin out as well. Nice. So, on a bright side, we didn't break right, but we just didn't find uh, gold. Uh, like, we, we, we could have uh, afforded to miss um, one or the other, but not both, honestly. So now he bleeds for the other boat? Yep. Trophy catch! Oh my god. <laughs> it's a good thing we did move it! <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, that's, uh, so that's we just easy, go... Elias. Oh, Elias? Just like the last one, yeah. That's just front row, huh? Uh, doesn't really matter. Probably front row, yeah, because we don't have oak, so yeah. I do what I must. We're playing too big a uh, catch, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> not playing around trophy catch in 2020. I mean, it's just, you know, cheeky core attack, right? Yeah, gotta respect the guy. Mm. He ran into too many what, uh, Visigotas, that's what it is. <clears throat> this is terrible play, but sure. Finally. Do we just take the Vernacio now? While they're alive? Um, I mean, he can always play Lida, but yeah, sure. It hits for two, two four, five. six. Eight, it we lose two points. Uh, two, four, five. Yeah, it's fine. We play Vernosu. Front, right. front row, right? Um, I would actually play it back row, right? We don't overswarm now, or do we? It has to be front. But he's gonna kill something. Sure. We go front row then. Sure. We lose a lot of points though. Or do we go back row? I would play back row. I'll play back row because uh, he he has to kill something. There, right? and he, he has lots of damage cards. Like th this, this just means we lose uh, uh, two points on uh, Isengrim for no reason. Especially if he kills something, then Isengrim is pretty bad. Yeah, that's true. And, and, and this is also a very big poison target as well. So. So he kills. He kills the one. Yep. Instead of the two. Yep. And he goes... Harold into... We just take the Isengrim now, right? Yes. For sure. Oh, Missed the one! Missed the one. Nice. Yeah, we take Isengrim immediately. Front row, huh? Then we play um, Ida. Back row. And, 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 yeah, and poison is always gonna be a great sword. So it goes Ida. Okay. I think we uh, use the guy. Oh. Okay, so um, regardless of where we do it, he can always kill it. Um, Assuming he has um, Hjalma, but then again, if he had Hjalma, he would have smacked it, our um, Tingi, right? Right. Um, our Dunker. So I would actually go for either onto Aelrin. Go onto the Aelrin? Yeah. Why have you summoned me? We lose two points if he has Hjalma, as opposed to, um, what's the name? Uh, using it on a four because he probably has uh, um, what's the name? The guy that deals five damage. Oh, Squirtle. Uh, Squirtle, yeah. yeah, Squirtle. Champions charge. That's, that's a weird one. So now we it's just go the bleed on the eight, huh? 
I'm pretty sure we'll win uh, if he doesn't have answer, uh, if he doesn't have Grammist. Which is like kind of ridiculous, honestly, because we missed every possible card in the game. Like, he has Warkvag, uh, maybe like Trigvi. Okay, that's that's a lot of points. Over your dead body. That, that's actually a lot of points. Alright, so we just put the guy. We could shield it, <laughs> but it doesn't work out, right? No, because he has order, right? It's a pretty terrible card when you put it that way, right? Right. But let's see. Did he save the Grammist? He did not. I think we just win. The last card is Warpog. Which, um... I mean, maybe he doesn't play both more fucking no good, right? But... Hey, you already. Yeah. Wild Boar? Yeah, Wild Boar wins for sure. Or does it? Or does it? Three. More card. Nope. Not yeah, a Wild Boar, good. friend. Holy <laughs> shit. We missed, like, this, this hand was so bad. So bad. So bad. Like, I... I'll probably rate it uh, round three hand, like. Barely six out of ten, but barely. Yeah. So yeah. No. That, that... Sometimes you just have, like... win with with bronze cards. Get... Yeah, I mean, I, I... we were the Skomega lol. <laughs> yes, yes. But as you can see, like that, there's lots of points in this deck. So, yeah, like the tricky part is uh, not to lose an even um, against, for for instance, uh, hunger. Right? Hunger is like super popular deck. So if you're on blue, like you kind of want to TA or Danka, and then they play Mantico, and then you lose the game, right? But if you're on red, you can do all sorts of stuff, right? You always have a uh, reach with your poison, right? And you can uh, drop all critters round one, uh, which play for like you know solid value seven. They synergize uh, synergize well with um, Elias. So yeah, Pois I think the poisons have... are pretty bad against overwhelming hunger, though, because they could just um, no, not really. Like they can't up. really afford. To, uh, to eat them um, on blue coin. Yeah, that's um, true. So you're spending yeah, them early. Like, you're not saving them for end game then. Exactly, exactly. And sometimes they they think you're bluffing and you don't have another poison, so they just consume it with um, what's the name, um, Bargus or something, and then you poison again, and they're like, haha, he doesn't have like four fucking poisons. <laughs> <laughs> like a fifty. Got him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I played that matchup like. Um, quite a lot then um, they can obviously win especially because they have work at right so they actually have like last rate um, but apart from that um, I think you don't really have um, some like terrible matchups um, I think this deck does uh, pretty okay against uh, shield wall for instance because you just like uh, poison like lots of shit and you can like apply um, big pressure so like w whatever they play um, they are sold to poison and you have Ida to um, purify Donimir, right? So I think that matchup is uh, pretty good. Works and out. against the uh, uh, Rev deck, uh, basically, um, if um, their Revenant spawns uh, front row, they win. If they if it spawns back row, <laughs> you win. <laughs> Something like that. That's I true. Think. Yeah, because so. of the Bowman, huh? And the yeah, thing yeah. death. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's actually hilarious important, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, what other matchups do we have? Um, NG doesn't exist, right? But yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not not, like not till December. <laughs> Devil yeah. Devil gets Nilfgaard for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh oh, the nature friend. Uh, oh, shoot, shoot as well. Nice, nice. They made him a little bit small, but yeah, yeah, but the tones are pretty epic. Uh, all right, so we got... this is obviously a terrible matchup, so it's fine. We're gonna win it. Um, let's mulligan the two-point guy. The critter. Yeah, because it's a decent card. That's okay. Um, now probably dwarf. The marauder. So we got two. Well, we, we could can... kill their little things. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, officer is pretty decent. It's just like a better Bowman. Bowman just uh, sucks. So there's a couple of cards we can change, but at the end of the day, you don't really want to have any bronze. So it doesn't really matter, right? But um, 
four P bronze are using. But I think like officer is okay. Oh, this is spicy shit. Okay, so we just kill one. Unless he TAs. I have no problem. Like uh, he's a smart so, man. So, yeah, but but this is this is the issue. If he poison, he's just gonna play caress. So, like this deck actually plays caress. So it's like pretty bad. Right. Pretty bad. So I think we just uh, play. Uh, Bad cards, I think. So probably uh, Bowman and just like damage non chick and see if he plays Caress. I doubt he plays uh, Circle of Life, but he might play Circle of Life. So we're hitting he the. Probably does. We're hitting the. Yeah, we always have five. reach if we post. Yeah. You're dead already. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, you don't. Uh, good thing is he's he doesn't have Heatwave for Fain Death, so that's like a lot of points. Because we know he is uh, playing Devotion. Ooh. So he's... Alright, so we can actually kill this in two. So we're going Officer, Officer? Yep. Melee, huh? Exactly. So now he plays... Green. He plays uh, something which kills it probably, but that's just the uh, nature of the game, right? You yeah. play stuff and then it dies. <laughs> yeah. But this deck, for instance... Uh, that's a pretty strong play for turn one, this little Yeah, combo. but that probably means uh, he has Eitner, right? So, yeah. Oh, he goes nature, too. Okay, that's kind of good for us because uh, that's one. Um, th that's a good card, and that means he has. Um, if he doesn't have crest, we can poison the other chick. So. So we just. I think we it. still play. I, I think we still play. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, we play officer while we can, for extra two points. What do we hit? Oh, we boost. Uh, no, we buff. We buff. Yeah. So whatever we buff, he's just gonna play. Uh, um, the rebuke, so it doesn't really make a difference, but at least uh, this uh, got through. It's sweet. Not gonna lie, that's the first time I've used the bonded synergy. <laughs> <laughs> See, he had the answer for it, but he just didn't care. He just didn't want him. Didn't respect. Alright, so I think we s try and uh, see if he has. Um, Caress. Uh, caress, yeah, so which one is worse? Uh, that one, yeah, so we go for that one. The Whisper, right? Yeah, yeah, because the other one has uh, Harmony, so it's like another two points. Daisies stand tall, Potentially three if you find those. They're just like visual thinking. <clears throat> uh, we actually have uh, double poison, actually, so we can go for double poison unless you low roll and hit uh, um, the, the hand buff chick. So do we do we have it if he has two? Uh, <clears throat> three. No, we don't. But is he gonna pass? We can always use like leader charge, uh, but I think it's worth it. So, so we... I think I think we just pass here. Yeah. We pass. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we pass. I was gonna say twenty seems kind of rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. It's unlikely he has another one, uh, so if he uses um, Protector on Crest, it's fine. Right. I highly doubt he has uh, two Caresses in deck. I mean, he could because he's playing this uh, Devotion thingy, but... Okay. That oak is pretty good. So we mulligan the Dwarf. That's like primary mulligan this deck after Aileron. That's really good. Um, I guess we mulligan one poison, try to find the bad card. On brick. Nice. But not good nice. either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that, no that's, that's perfect to drop on a dry pass. But he's gonna bleed us, right? He's afraid. Like, he's like, dead I ambush. What kind of mambo jumbo is this, right? right? Shoop as well. Like, come on, man. Just. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it, when I see Dead Eye Ambush, I instantly think Pain Death, so I gotta get it out of him. Yeah, I mean, that's that's just logical. The thing is, like, people forget that even if you get Pain Death out. Yeah, okay, that's sense. Mere, his bar 
<laughs> can't poison her. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's cheap. I mean, we could uh, play either and then poison, but he's just gonna play. Uh, we thin, the, right? The boost team. I mean, he's still at seven, right? So we don't really want to uh, play such a big card yet. So I think we play uh, uh, the three point guy and damage it and see what happens. And then if he passes, we just play Ida. Or even Elias, because we overswarm. Yeah. And if you play, um, what's the name? It just passes. Uh, so what do we draw? Uh, that's a good question. Hmm. Do we ever get the poison off in this? Probably poison, yeah. Your next move shall be Because we reaction. poison it, he puts caress on it, yeah, we poison yeah, yeah. it again, he just uses shaping nature and veils it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Sh uh, shaping nature is really bad for us. That's why I said this matchup is pretty bad. And usually they also have a heat wave for your fate death, right? So nothing really goes through. So you get two points of carryover? Yeah, that's no, um, plus two from um, so called life, so it's like four, right? Okay, okay. Um, we still potentially have another uh, poison, so but it, it just never goes through. So just mulligan the poison. Okay. Um, I think we have to stick. Uh, maybe mulligan uh, the dwarf. We kind of want to find uh, Verdant Osiel. Nice. Nice. <laughs> that's actually that's actually pretty good. So do we start with? Justice, or uh, do we start with the Fain Death? Um, uh, no, we start with Fain Death, right, because of the proc, which just dies. And uh, we're probably going to have to play uh, Justice for um, the proactive uh, dwarf, not the other one, because we oversorb. Okay. So f melee, huh? Since we're going back row of Vernasiel. Yeah, sure. It doesn't really matter that much, because you, you can always use Leader to set up your... Uh, that low on uh, Waylay or whatever. Yeah, that's true. If you have a Yavin, I mean. But we kind of swarm like a lot. So. We we're banking that he killed stuff. That's like one real downside of this deck. So this is uh, Ait now, I would imagine. He yeah. might over swarm too, though, man. You get yeah, all... I, guess, I guess that's true. I acknowledge neither your master nor your orders. Do we try to kill any of these or Oh we get one with the waylay, right? Yes. Uh so I would actually play Ida uh, and boost the chick because then um it, it goes die. to six and then it doesn't die. Which is kinda important. So in this particular case, like Ida is pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think he's gonna overswarm just as bad. I mean, we have this, uh, we have Elias, which creates uh, one more, and then we have Lido, which creates three more, and then uh, we have. Ah, shit, we should have uh, played Vernosil. That was uh, done on my part. We could still do it. Yeah, we probably should. Do it now, huh? Yeah, I think so. Go back row? Uh, use all the charges and um, play uh, Verno. Go f with the charges front row, or? Back row. Uh, I think back row because uh, Bruno goes um, front row. Maybe one leader charge. Say one leader charge. Oh, I use them all. And we're going melee damage, huh? Yep. The troops. <laughs> lay, lay in some hate. Uh, yeah, yeah. We play from there, right? We don't want another token. 38 to 3. Now let's see. Shit. Yeah. I think you're right, though. He's got to kill some stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we, we basically need him to kill two cards or something like that. Because we create all sorts of shit. Shaping nature on the girl. I mean, that's just easy even, right? Oh, he just we went straight points, huh? No, we don't have it. Okay. Oh, we have Yavin. But we don't have enough guys on the row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I mean, we still do it, right, and then finish with Oak. 
That seems like a good plan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oak. Um, so we can we can play Yaven and uh, Justice and Oak. So it's perfect. I fail when heading of them where they. Forty-two to. Yeah, I mean this deck does uh, bomb it a lot of points, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, it just like um, and and bear in mind that uh, we played Verno front row, right? So. Yeah, we we uh, we gonna have sweet sweet. Oh guys, wait, right? which one do we kill though? Probably Tis hammer tried, right? Yeah. That's... I shall die with it. Since uh, so, can you check his graveyard? He already played a couple of cards uh, with um, the nature tag one, two, three, right? So yeah. he's likely to have, let's say, another like two. So, uh, so that's we... on average. So so we just we always kill kill a hammer dried. One. This is insane. <laughs> yeah, I just want to. I want to see where it finishes. <laughs> I mean, uh, we're gonna put we we're gonna play Isagrim, which is also a lot of points. So yeah. And uh, as I said, we're gonna play Justice for the one worth, not two. That's like a couple of points we points lost. Down, yeah. yeah. I guess we can eat one of the critter. Oh, abandoned girl now. Really? So now what? Justice. Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, you've done it now. <sighs> Got a hearty hankering for Gwent. Look at our so boy here. Uh, yep. Who's, <laughs> I think it's a girl, but yeah, it's a boy. <laughs> Who's the hammer dryad now? <laughs> wow. I think we actually oh, win. there's the other one. Yeah, but I don't think it's. Uh... Though trees live longer than humans, they need protection from them. All right. So now we go. We just take the bleed off that. Uh, no, no, no. We're gonna play that as last card, right? So we don't create another token, another uh, unit. So we just play Ising Room here. It's like Isengrim. Um I mean, I guess we can play. Uh, wait, let me do uh, five. So no, no, we play Isengrim and then we play uh, Elias and uh, two point guy as dead cards. I think Isengrim into L. It's a lot of points. Dude, he's down sixty. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, if we lose this game, man, I think it's time to hang up the Gwent boots, man. Holy yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, this is going to end up like a like a 20 almost after the boost. Malena, oh shit. Uh, what does that do? Yeah, I'm not sure. So now All we right, go... Alright, so what do we have in deck for... Uh, for uh... No, no, we. I think we play the... Do we have any elf? No, we don't. Mm -mm. I get ah oh, shit. We can just go for dwarf. Like how I was, I was blind. Just go for dwarf. We have a marauder, huh? Yeah, I mean, I guess he just dies, but then we free up the space. Oh, we get the most. Okay, uh, that's bad. So just go for the ranger. Yeah. Maybe we bait him. So then we play Elias and eat. Uh, yes. Yes. One of these guys. So we do have one uh, one dead card. Probably, probably, probably just like four, right? Okay. So sure, he has answer for poison, but that's just like super low. So now we just eat one of the fours. We have to eat one on the back row, though, right? Um. Uh, two, four. Yep. Yeah. We'll eat Isengrim. Love is war. I mean, it's a five, so just eat the other one, right? Doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. 92, 38. We still win. Unless he has uh, some kind of last rate. Which he doesn't because it's a devotion deck. So it can be crushing, I suppose. He is playing um, Malena. But I think we, we're good. It's just like we had the full uh, full uh, mambo jumbo package, right? And 
He missed his boar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good game. So, as it, yeah, this was actually a pretty good game. Uh, normally, I would say this matchup is uh, very, very tough because um, the normal version with um, um, Gift, uh, they run Heat Wave and you can't poison anything because of um, Caress and Shaping Nature, right? So, but this was like. He played more uh, engine heavy deck, right? Yeah, good showcase. Which is fine. Yeah. yeah. But as you can see, like it's kind of rough to dodge, um, you know, the the space, right? So you kind of want people to push you. If they push you, you just win. Yeah. Unless you hand it. It like, seems like you can push. really easily get your card, keep your card, yep. you know. Yep. Yep. If you draw and correctly. Like, like for instance, like I don't mind playing Fain Death when they bleed me, and then play, you know, a shitty elf. To proc it and then still have like Verno, Isengrim round three with leader. So yeah. like a lot of points. And, and you always have that sweet tail ring, right? Yeah. So and, and Oak. Like where's Oak yep. been? <laughs> it's yeah, it's, it's totally. like Oak's Oak used to be the number one staple and it's like, dude, he's been missing for a long time. Uh, yeah, because like uh elves um, uh, yeah, I guess like ST doesn't really swarm right now. The most popular version is uh, Precision Strike. Right. And they just have their own finisher, right? But I think Oak is still a very good card, mainly because this deck uh, lacks removal, so it kind of, you know, helps helps there, right? Yeah. And it's also procs um, your Dryads, Dryad Rangers, right? Right. So yeah, it's a good card. Yeah. Um, Mr. Beardy, thanks for recording today, <laughs> sir. We appreciate you, man. Yes. Um, yes, yes. We gonna we gonna get some streams out of you sometime soon, TM. Maybe. Uh, I mean, uh, I keep saying that and it never happens, right? So this time I won't promise. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it, right? <laughs> what do you What do you think of the draft mode? Uh, I haven't... Um, really seen uh, it. Yeah, but I think it's regardless of what happens, it's going to be better than the current one, right? Yeah, so for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. I think like a good uh, draft mode basically could, um, you know, um, freshen uh, things like a lot. And um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Definitely would be something fun to tinker around, and uh, watch other streamers do it as well. Yeah. So definitely, definitely uh, some you know bright future for Gwent World, I would say. Yeah, I mean, and no no entry fee for it. You just can't exactly exactly. You, you can't uh, just you know keep dropping drafts and thing. I guess there's yeah. gonna be a timer I, on it, but yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I mean, the current one. What, like, if you get Syndicate uh, card or leader, you're just, like, uh, doomed, right? Like, there's nothing you can do. Uh, so yeah. yeah, there's a lot of bad leaders. So, you know, being able to have that algorithm to, you know, pull the synergies is really nice. So. Yeah. So, if I understood correctly, you're, you're guaranteed to get cards which are, like, um, synergetic with your leader, right? Right. Something yeah, like that's that. why you pick it off rip. You, you, yeah. you pick yeah, leader yeah. first, and then it, it starts grabbing stuff for you. Which yeah, is that's cool. that's definitely really really good. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm uh, definitely looking forward to it, and um, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, more, you know, Gwent expansions and all that. It's been a while, right? Yeah, we uh, gotta wait for December, but I think we'll get the the draft mode next month. So yes, that yes, should that's, uh, that's, that should that should like, do the trick. Keep that little little happy middle, and we got a new journey. So, what's your guess on the journey character? You think it's Alzer? Sorry. Uh, the guest for the journey character, the upcoming journey character. Uh, I have no clue, so uh, I, I, I kind of didn't play Gwen for two weeks, so I'm sorry. I, I think it's either Alzer, the guy who, like, the big magician guy. In, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I know, I know who else. Uh, oh, or, really? Uh, or, uh, or Kahir, it might be Kahir. And uh, what were the hints? Uh, well, the one, uh, there's one picture floating around with this, like, guy with this, like, bluish cape and kind of like some frosty looking hair i don't know um slama showed it a couple times on his a couple of his streams so um i don't know we'll, we'll just have to see I'm... i mean i mean also would be a nice pick but then again i i kind of think they have to go mainstream and not many people would know who that guy is right right so something something along those lines but yeah also is like the greatest wizard of sorcerer of all time with some shit like that i think yeah yeah they saw more, right? <laughs> something I, like that i think like samuel tremors uh was also created by him i think so, right right like yeah i just so, hope i hope if, it, if it's kahir they don't give him the ball sack armor as one of his uh <laughs> things <laughs> <of the show. laughs> Yo, holy shit. 
<laughs> that was that was actually I, I think that's like my main gripe for the show like Angiama was like what well yeah, I, I seen was... pictures of they showed some pictures in season two and they 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 gave him some good armor so it right, uh, right. it looks like it's gonna oh, be a lot yeah that, that, that's also coming soon right it's um, next year right which is around the corner right yeah probably so, um... like, so, so it so it's like and six seven months maybe something like that yeah probably summertime i'm thinking yeah because they'll okay, have to edit everything yeah i guess that's true i guess that's true but um i guess that's true yeah another ladder leverage guys thank you again mr beardy for recording um like it was a pleasure, was a pleasure. like always guys thank you make sure you check out team uh we'll probably have a, a pretty big write-up for the draft mode when it comes up uh i don't know who's gonna do it but um We'll uh, we'll have something up there for sure to help you guys out. So, and I'm gonna be playing a shit ton of it because I I like draft mode. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>